Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting interview. Thanks for watching this time with another Oberfränkisches Kellerbier. Always right time for an Oberfränkisches Kellerbier. Probably my favorite beer style at the moment, Kellerbier and Zwickel, which is basically the same beer style. I really like that beer style. This is from Sonnenroy in Mürzbach in Rattelsdorf, and uh, it comes in this one liter bottle. As I promised, there is going to be a few one liter bottles this time. Uh, in the upcoming videos because I really like the one liter bottles because they are uh, filled up by hand so you get the beer very fresh which is very important especially in this beer style at Kjellow beer. So this brewery, is, I'm gonna speak a little bit about it, some information that I found on the brewer's website which I link to in the description box below. Uh, for 150 years now we, the Schmidt family, have been pampering the thirsty people in the beautiful half timbered village of Würzbach with an exquisite beer from our own brewery. All of those are, are hungry, honest, rural Franconian cuisine. We, when our ancestors, Sophie and Lawrence Schmidt, converted their former village bakery into a brewery in 1868, they laid the foundation stone for one of the oldest Franconian host families. The sixth generation is already at the local brew kettle and ex is expanding the range of Kello beers with new types of beer outside of Franconian tradition. The master brewer and beer qualified sommelier Daniel Schmidt is responsible for a diverse range of beers and from the Beer Wanderers website where you can read the following. Mürzbach is a charming village on the river It's not far from uh, north of Bamberg in Franconia, full of half-timbered architecture and home to a fine small rural brewery. It is amongst rolling hills and most enjoyable reached via canoe. Uh, in Rattelsdorf, and you have with 350 uh, hectoliters according to this website. Um, well, we went on a Thursday in June, but it was on holiday, so I wrote a mail just to make sure it was told to be open at 11, so it might uh, pay to check in advance if they answered in the email promptly. Founded 1868 in this Schmidt family ever since this traditional old inn has gone through some renovations in both the facility and brewing. It is not aptly for the inn, it's named solar powered, but it's also embracing many seasonals and arsenals of craft beer. The brew pub is serves up to excellent meals, both in the restaurant and self-service beer garden, and none other than brewer called Schmidt. Was a blind man in the beer fonts. Um, I must admit, to not having super high expectations for Sonnenboy, having read perhaps old enthusiastic reviews, I couldn't have been won over more strongly after one stop. The self-service area was clean, modern and very, very welcoming. I had a large selection of hot meals, but opened with a Kalbsbraten mit Klöse, served with a side of a Wirzwing. It was fantastic meal and very large. I had eat one my wife's slices of veal, she just couldn't finish it. We washed it down with, with surprisingly tasty Kello beer. In old reviews, people mentioned Helles and Lagerle, so perhaps the brew influenced some of his love of craft beer into his regular lineup. Uh, it was uh, hard to not have another Kello beer, but the craft beer offering sounded good, and I decided the Hopfen Blumla, a fine pale ale. He re really spent some time pouring it, and it looks fantastic when I bought it back on, at the table. The taste did more than up. Uh, up to its visual appearance. I'm sure if we'd been canoeing back to town we would have another one. I returned recently, recently in winter and found the brew pub's interior cozy and nearly as nice as the beer garden. I went back for to try their winter special new special dunkel and even though I had eaten lunch before I was all ready for dinner I couldn't resist daily special of beer goulash. I was eat it was excel excellent and considering that I had quite few beers to try, I was glad I had opted it. The dunkel was lovely and super well with dark sauce, probably made with the same beer since I had come specifically for dunkel and doppelbock, but since it had taken me years to return, I decided to try both rare, their everyday bison and the seasonal bison box. Sadly, the latter just ran over the tap, but graciously opened a lighter bottle, even though I had a small size portion of it. I wasn't disappointed by any of the beers, but still rushed drinking them. Thanks for the son and boy makes small samples uh, a life saver when you have 90 minutes until next bus. Service was friendly, quick and helpful. Rooms are available and looking forward to, to try them with my wife. I recently got back from up, unfortunately. 
or for a quick lunch rather rather than a nice lingering overnight stay where you're gonna took a enjoy a small charming beer garden and more important excellent food my wife opted for a very tasty meals pineapple dumplings and cream and mushroom sauce and i got cut off with balance with hoya shellings um baggers in franconia dialect our protective pancakes and topped with a smoked salmon and the horror dish sauce i was sorry to have missed the hop from gluma session but were was happy with their sickle pills some shown pretty and some filtering from the chestnut trees it was great to uh, quick reminding us how cute little village millsbush and the great uh, brew pub son and boy is too since my wife didn't uh, get to drink as she was driving she said next time we'll get a room and about this specific one the kelloby we can read the following on this website uh brewery son and boy town millsbush style kelloby color unfiltered amber head creamy white nose slightly hot body medium bodied low carbonation palate dry fruity some berries hoppy not overly bitter Finish long dryish served on top of the brewery. Impression I must expect I wasn't ha having high expectations from this as a few reviews hadn't uh, did it sound so promising. Either I don't agree or the brewery uh, has made vast improvements. The uh, setting clearly doesn't hurt sitting at a like a bill yacht and overlooking so many half timbered houses and toured with colorful blooming roses. Anyway, the beer was. Uh, to ask with the setting. It wasn't an easy drink session beer, but not lacking the flavor whatsoever. The finish was Moorish and at 4.9% volume, great session beer. If I hadn't a canyon back in time, I was clearly would have had another return this past winter through and there was a few winter special seasons. I couldn't resist to have another Kelloby and it was served in a glass rather than a Krug and it was nice to see the amber who It seemed to be even fruitier, but still very nice dry finish. Also gonna show you the books that I'm learning about Franconian breweries, for example. We have this one right here. And here you see Son and Boy right here. And the information is um, Ralf Schmidt Gasthaus Schmidt Regional is Optimal. Founded 1868, Beer Sorten and Son Son and Boy Weiser, Mais getrunken Kellobier, and allowed put 400 hectolitres Gasthaus Schmidt. And also, I do have another book about Franconian brewers, which is this one right here. And the information is in this one about Son Boy uh, 1868, Daniel Schmidt, 900 hectoliters. Die Fachwerk Brauerei, dir ist das Brauen seit 1868 in Warsten, since des Wortes ein Handwerk für Braumeister Daniel Schmidt bedeutet das. Körperinsatz und großes Fingerspitzengefühl. Der Sudkessel wird nach wie vom Holz beheizt und die offene Gärung praktiziert und von allen ge genannt. Daniel Schmidt, dem Jungbier, vor zu sechs Wochen Zeit, um zu reifen Bierkenner aus der Allerwelt kommen nach Mürzbach unter feinen Unterscheid zu schmecken. Die Biere der Sonnenbräu, ein Kellerbier, ein weißes und saisonales Spezialitäten wie das Hopfenblümler Pellel im Sommer oder das Hellebockbier im Winter gibt es nur hier in der Brauerei. In Flaschen wird es nur in kleinster Stückzahl direkt von Hand gefüllt. Sonnenbräu, warum bleibt ein Bier von Fass? Wir sollten Kellerbier, helles Hefeweizen, Sonnenbräu im Mürzbach. Der Klassiker Kellerbier. Now, there is some nice things on this bottle, don't you think? Sonnenbräu, Mürzbach, Hüsi, Kellerbier. And you see the back label here also, which is having very much information. I'm going to read through that here. It's the logo also. Gebrannt nach dem Reinheitsgebot von 1516, Alkohol content 4.7% Volume. Um, Untergärisches Vollbier, ungespundet und naturtrüb, der Stoff, wie es sich für Mürzbacher Bier gehört. Unser Kirlobier mit hellen Bernsteinfarben glänzt tradiz traditionell in Steinkrug. Nach alter Sonnentradition vergärt die Würze in offenen Bottlischen bei einem speziellen Gärverfahren, das die Grundlage für eine besonders hohe Geschmacksfülle legt. Ausgereift ist unser Klassiker nach einer Lagerung von fünf Wochen in unseren Lagerstollen unter, unter der Brauerei. Zutaten: Brauwasser, Gerstemalz, Hopfen und Hefe, hergestellt von der Sonnenbräu Mürzbach. Um, yeah, that's information about this one. So, now over to the tasting part. On this really really interesting uh Sonnenboy Mürzbach Privatbrauerei seit 1868 Braugaststätte Biergarten Festzahl eine helle Freunde 
Um, so thanks to my friend Miguel who did send this one to me. So let's try it and plop it up, shall we? Nice plop there, of course, uh, showing that it's real fresh. Also, the classical. Um, Um, smoke coming out, of course, and also is, is very important. There we have some of it at least, and of course, it looks very, very nice. You see very many small bubbles rising up and a very thick white foam crumb also of course that is keeping the right taste in the glass which is um, which is so important on a uh, like Hello Beer since it's unfiltered and should be uh, should be served as fresh as possible um, that is that is very important on this particular beer style too, uh, to have it fresh, that's why I love these small liter bottles and also pour it up that you release all the right flavors. Uh, but this this logo is very nice looking and it's on boy Mule's brush I've heard many good things about it so the expectations is of course very high, especially that it's a kilo beer that is something that is really fantastic. Um, let's, uh, the, the color of it is of course perfect for the bear cell with a color uh, pale amber or Bernstein color of it and a very significant foam crumb also as well of course. Let's get the aroma. A very typical um, this is quite actually, uh, yeah, quite uh, hard to see through. Quite, how should I say, cloudy. Not very cloudy though. Still, it's quite easy to feel that it's a calabir, and I really love this amber-colored ones. A little bit of reddish color. They really, really are great in my opinion. Um, you see that the foam is starting to. To uh, get a little bit lower, so let's pour up a little, a little bit more of it. It's actually uh, not a bad idea to uh, to pour it up in stages, like like I do, because um, you release the right flavors, and uh, that's just something that uh, should be done in a beer stall like this one. Um, it is just simply looking fantastic in my opinion with the, as you can see, very very thick white foam crown keeping the right taste in the glass and uh, also is a quality sign of course a very great and important quality sign. Um, I can show you once again a closer look of the back label. Here, you see the logo and some more information. This is, of course, looking really, really nice, in my opinion. And you see the foam crown is still, of course, very high, even though there is quite much left in the bottle so it all in all is uh, a very very fine specialty I would say um, that's just something that I'm as I said I've been looking forward to for so long uh, this Sonnenboy Mjölsbosch Kjellobir really makes a very very nice impression in my opinion
Isn't this looking great? This is looking like a perfect color bill with this balanced iron color and um, very big white foam crown. Looking fantastic, isn't it? So, really hope you can visit their website and also it's possible to uh, to buy this one from uh, the Landvir Paradis web shop. They, uh, they ship worldwide, so hope you're going to do that. Now we have it all, so let's give it a try this one and boil Kellogg. Prost. Yeah, of course, um, really, really fresh, typical um, fresh Kellogg taste. Um, easy to feel the hops taste, well balanced, easy to feel that it's unfiltered. Um, all in all, it's a really, really great Kellogg beer, uh, or Frankisches Kellogg beer, in my opinion. Um, very, very nice in test and well balanced and uh, high quality raw materials, high quality brewing process, it's easy to feel. So um, not disappointed at all. Yeah, it's um, it's fantastically fresh. Um, just the way I want to cut a little bit, so um, I can just say for me. The uh, Sonnenbrühe Kjellerbeer Mürzbash is uh, a very, very nice recommendation. I hope you can see that yourselves, that it's uh, very easy to drink. Uh, and I love Kjellerbeers, as you know. Great beer stuff. So, for me, this is really great and um, also a brewery that uh, really should get more attention and um, they are quite small but doing it um, in a handcraft way, which is of course something that we all need to support um, because they do it so good, and that's fantastic. So, that's it for now. That's the Sonnenboy Kellogg Mürzbash. I uh, hope you like my reviews. And that you continue to follow my channel with more interesting Franconian beer reviews. And see you again in the next Franconian beer review.